Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Bullet Storm. I'm sorry if that was annoying in any way. I just tried to present all the manliness I could muster because that's what Bullet Storm is. It's a super manly game. Um, developed by Epic Games and People Can Fly uh, and published by EA Games. You got uh, that's some powerful people involved there. Uh, if you're not familiar, People Can Fly are also involved in bringing this world uh, the fine game of Painkiller. So if you're familiar with that game and you enjoyed that, there's I, I n personally never played it, but uh, I have a feeling you might be into this sort of game. Um, what you're seeing here is me being a completely oblivious dick tit. Um, you know, I see the little autosave symbol and I actually thought it was autosaving and it's just, I didn't even read the warning. It's just saying, that's what the autosave symbol looks like. Blah blah blah. So I didn't even notice the press A to continue for a good few seconds. So, uh, things are already looking up for us here. <laughs> um, anyways. We're gonna pretty much get into it. Just a quick look at the menu. Uh, what do we got here? Controls. Uh, you know, it the way the game is they introduce us to the controls they're very simple controls to begin with and they do a good job of introducing us to them kinda of one by one so here yeah, I'm debating do I wanna do normal hard very hard usually I'll play games on very hard or whatever the most extreme difficulty is but for the sake of the LP and you know being timely and in, in distributing it to YouTube and and the world hopefully hopefully lots of people see this um, I decided to go with normal so, of course, we're starting out with the prologue, chapter one, and the way this works actually is, um, it's kind of like, if you think, the narrative form is a little different. I mean, it's kind of more common nowadays, but if you look back to a movie like Pulp Fiction where, you know, people didn't really mess around with narrative form, it was pretty linear, the game starts out, uh, in, in the future, essentially, uh, to, or not basically right before what I'm assuming is the actual end of the game or the end of the, the plot and then um, so that's that's basically starting now and up until the end of this video and then uh, in the second video we actually you know it goes back a few years earlier to what you're seeing now and you playing through the game you play up to, to this point so that's kind of cool I like I like that and they introduce us to the control system. It's very similar, I, uh, you know, again, I know a lot of games have probably done this, but I, the most me memorable uh, moment for me was uh, Halo Combat Evolved when I first popped that into the Xbox back in the day. Um, and how they try to work the calibrating things and getting you used to the controls um, in, in a manner that doesn't just seem like, you know, they try to work it into the actual game and not some kind of tutorial subset or anything like that which is always cool so they they do a really good job in bullet storm of, of this because one the controls are very simple to begin with and and two they take us take a hold our hand um, not really I shouldn't say hold our hand but they kind of they guide us in a way that's appropriate to the game but just isn't confusing or anything like that so that was awesome by the way that guy had it coming so now we we get to move around, see what it feels like. You know, in terms of of control, you, uh, if you play Gears of War, the the momentum of the characters and the guns and everything like that, very similar to that. Which, to me, that's a that's a good thing. I like uh, I like having the feeling the weight of the gun and the weight of the character. I think that's important in a first person shooter. Um, uh, for controls. Oh shit. No! Oh, that mother... No! Okay, so... Some dude in space is just like, Well, I'm about to die. But I figure I'll make my last moments miserable for these chumps. And, uh... He succeeded. So what are we gonna do? Of course, every ship in this day and age has... Has one of these emergency window shutting mechanisms so that all the air isn't sucked out into the vacuum of space. It's good. Also, kicking, extremely satisfying. You know, people people underestimate kicks. They're just great, whether it's in, like, MMA fighting or something like that, where a guy kicks a guy in the head. 
and he just goes down to the ground. Or if it's bullet storm, you kick a piece of metal or a dude, and it goes flying across the the area, the room, whatever you're in. Very satisfying. So kind of thinking I've got to go in this window. Hey, I'm just gonna kick it down. But no, this guy's busy doing some other mumbo jumbo here. So here's another thing they introduce us to. Crouching. Uh, I like that little joke there. <laughs> Don't suppose I have to tell you you gotta crouch here. <laughs> you boys, Why don't you crouch in front of my crotch? You could do that. Step aside, I'm just joking. Doc. Don't do that. Cock meat sandwich. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna just smash this. This seems the most brutish way. So, which one you do it, and it works. It, that never really made sense to me. It's like, why would you destroy a control panel? Like, why would the function be to automatically just open the door once you've, con you know? To me, it would seem like it would want to shut, if anything, or stay shut. But who am I? I'm not one. I'm not an instrumentation and automation technician guy. I work with them, but I'm not one. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna hit up the elevator. That's what all the cool kids do these days. Cool fact, elevator is the most efficient means of, of transportation. Um, I'd explain it, but I'm, it might be too too much for you. You might explode. Cities are moving upwards, building upwards, not outwards, people. That's why the elevator is so awesome. So here we are in the bridge. The, yeah, is this the bridge? I'm not too familiar with it. Spaceship, to a dark matter field. you know, space shuttle terminology and stuff like that. That's the Confederation so, <clears throat> General Serrano, General at this point, he's an asshole. Early, the biggest asshole, we and we want to seek revenge. Yeah, I can us. dig that. I like revenge. Go watch the movie Count of Monte Cristo. Way. That Serrano is the best friggin' plot based on revenge. I love it. No. I love it, love it, love it. Again. Of course he's drunk. You lost your uh, Ishii. Ishii is an interesting character, too, as you'll see this in videos to come. Ishii. Ishii. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun with that name. Ishii Horny? Ishii Right? Ishii... Is she one who swallows or spits? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, so this seems it kind of seems like a bad idea. Look at the size comparison of these ships, but you know what they've got in size, we've gotten in speed. So maybe maybe that'll work for us. We get to man these turrets. I was having a little trouble at first because it's kind of hard to tell. There's a the little red uh, laser dot ridicule kind of thing. I mean, it's at the center of the screen, so it's it ain't that big of a deal. But you know. I, what's the point of having the laser dots if you can't see them in this neon explosion show in space? It's beautiful though, look at those galaxies and stuff like that. Or the, the gases and... The game, I mean, from a visual standpoint so far, it's, it's pretty decent looking. It's got that feel, just that aesthetic feel of uh, Gears of War, kind of bulkier... Um, vulgar type characters and stuff like that, but hey, I really don't have a problem with that. These guys aren't heroes, they're real, real men. Oh no, oh no, oh Joby! Oh, you're gonna get your feet wet. No, is she? Is he? Is she? Is she? Yeah, it's is she. We were all dead men oh, man, we've been dead, dead for years now. years now. So I'm basically gonna let the rest of this play out because it's Just pretty epic. To do this one last thing. Um, and I don't want to ruin it. So sure we didn't go to hell uh, we were gonna pick up, you know, where this this leaves us uh, in the next video, and uh, obviously it's gonna be actual game gameplay for the most part. So. Uh, I hope you hope you've enjoyed this first part, and there obviously the game's gonna get pretty exciting as we we play it. So let let's play Bulletstorm, people. I uh, hope you have a good one, and uh, return very soon for the next installment in this video series of mine. Peace out.